Greetings, gentlemen. We've already talked about the shirts and the pants, and now we need to tie it all together and talk about the shoes. In today's video, I'm going to share with you what shoes you should be wearing in the final video of this short series I put together, all about improving your style for spring and summer. Check it out. Shoes can single-handedly destroy your outfit. Right out of the gate here are just a few suggestions. No Crocs, no toe shoes, absolutely 100%. Stop it. Sandals, boat shoes, mandals, whatever you call them, I'm on the fence with that. Might be my own personal preference there, but also stop wearing the athletic shoes when you're, when you're trying to be stylish. Save those things for the gym, exercising, sports, track, running, walking, whatever. Consider some other options. For a casual outfit, try a minimal sneaker, something like this. Very simple, not a whole lot of flash going on, just a color. It's a, it's a light brown, they call this a chestnut actually, and a white sole. You can put this together with almost any outfit, a light blue shirt, khaki shorts, chinos, even jeans, no show socks, it's the summertime, no show socks. And you've got a, an incredible stylish outfit. I love this white sole, just gotta make sure you keep that clean. Speaking of white, you should consider a white shoe. This is just a minimal all white sneaker, just a little bit of gray in the back. You can find them all white. You can even find them with a gum sole uh, if you're worried about keeping this clean, but this goes with anything. Clean is the key. Make sure your shoes are clean. There is nothing worse than a dirty, grungy pair of shoes just destroying your outfit. As the material goes, um, leather, obviously very stylish. Suede is incredible uh, for the spring and summer, but there is nothing wrong with a woven material. Uh, look at this shoe, for example. This is just a gray shoe, pair it with anything, but all this is canvas. Uh, canvas can come in a different variety of colors, very stylish, nothing wrong with this at all. Now that covers the casual look, but what if you're trying to take it up a notch to business casual or even dress casual? I would consider a loafer. Now I struggle with loafers. Growing up, that is the only kind of shoe my parents bought me, uh, other than maybe a fake pair of Nikes or Reeboks or something like that. But they would buy the loafer and then they would buy cowboy boots. I really think my parents wanted my brother and I to be cowboys or something because it was always plaid shirts, brown corduroy pants and cowboy boots or loafers or something like that. I remember my brother, even on his Christmas list would say, uh, need some clothes, but no plaid shirts, please. But if I was dressing up for church, it was the go-to brown pants, plaid shirts, and I could wear my cowboy boots or throw on a pair of loafers. And I was the weirdo that actually put pennies in them, if you can believe that. So after so many years of wearing that style, not knowing what I was doing, getting made fun of, I said never again. I'm never going to wear loafers again. But truth is they're all over the place. So many guys wear them and they do look good. So I went out and bought my first pair of loafers probably over 20 years. I am stepping out of my comfort zone. You should too. Here's the pair that I bought. This is a, a light tan, probably considered like a slipper loafer. It's suede. They are growing on me and all it takes is a few compliments. I've already gotten them. Now I've got a few different styles of loafers that I'm trying to work through. What do you think about this one? Drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think of this shoe. Also, if you have a funny outfit that your parents dressed you in uh, when you're a kid, when you're growing up, I'd like to read about that too. Put that in the comment section below. Loafers can come in all different styles. This one, like I said, was probably considered a slipper loafer, but there's also a penny loafer that I talked about earlier. The story goes that students used to wear them and they would tuck a coin inside that little slot that they have in the front there. So they always had a way to call home using a pay phone. If any of you remember pay phones. Uh, there's also a bit loafer. A bit loafer is gonna have like a buckle or, or clasp of some sort that's gonna go across the front. They're a little more dressy, a little more formal. I wouldn't recommend really styling them with your, your casual look, but that's gonna be more for the, for the dressy look. There's also a tassel loafer. Um, instead of the clasp, there's gonna be just a couple of tassels hanging off here, so they're always bouncing around when you're, when you're walking. I think I had a pair of those too that my mom bought. I just, ah, 
Yeah, I'm having a rough time with loafers, what can I tell you? Another style is a driving loafer. Very low profile shoe. There's no real sole on a driving loafer, um, but there's just some like rubber grips on the bottom and then a, a couple of grips that go up the back for some reason. It's kind of a functional shoe as if you're a driver, I guess but very casual, a very, very casual shoe. And finally, the monk strap loafer. It's got a piece of leather that goes over the top and then a buckle. Um, this is a single strap, but they also come in a double strap style. This is a more dressy style. However, I have seen guys dress them up with a nice pair of jeans and a dress shirt. Definitely would recommend a monk strap loafer if you're looking for that dress casual look. Uh, very stylish. There are of course other shoes you can wear for the spring and summer. Boat shoes or sandals. I just don't do, they're not for me. I used to wear boat shoes back in the day, just not anymore. There's so many other options that are more stylish in my opinion that uh, you can go with. If you're gonna wear flip flops or sandals, please take care of those dogs. Don't wear a style of shoe where you have your feet all mangled, your toenails extra long, and they're all jacked up with dirt and grime in them, uh, jam everywhere. Clean and groom your feet, gentlemen. Get a pedicure, something, take care of that. It's gross, it's absolutely disgusting. But with anything, if you are comfortable where you are at, stay there. If you're someone who wants to step up your style, get out of your comfort zone, consider these options. If you've learned something with this video, be sure to drop me a thumb, and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment below. I still want to know what your parents used to dress you in. I'm the capable gentleman showing you ways to go from dirty to dapper and to encourage you to never stop learning. Until next time, be kind of. See you next week.